Hello, welcome to the model bench. Um, today I'm going to be looking at rudders and in particular just the different versions that are out there. And um, we'll just give you a heads up on what kind of different ones, the choices that you have and the different ones that are available. So this is the trumpeter rudder and um, it's a little bit too thick. The shape is a little bit off. Um, otherwise it's, it's not a bad choice. You know, if you're going with the kit one, that's what you're going to get. You obviously then need to add a few little parts onto it. Um, this is the KA rudder. Um, as you can see, it's it's a better shape. It's a little bit thinner. So it's a bit more to scale. Um, it does have the, the kind of zinc plating here. You can see that there. Um, and that's a really nice one to go for as well. Uh, but I decided to go for one I got on Shapeways. And I'll put a link down below. And as you can see, that's razor thin, really nice. I've got a photo etch parts that I can add to zinc. And there's also a little, little piece that fits here. Um, the top of it here will have to obviously be uh, modified just to fit into the hole. Also, if you look at the trumpeter one, the second part of these kind of bolts is on the boat. So when you put the two of them together, they form both bolts. But on this one, both bolts are on the part. So I'll have to remove them off the boat. And then once that slots in, it should look good. And I think it will finish it off much better. Because I noticed even with the K one, when I put it in place, some some of them don't fit quite right and there's a little bit of work to be done and i think this one would look really nice so obviously you just have to wash the part it's warm soapy water and i'm going to give it a light priming just to bring out the detail and then i'll get the painting and adding the parts so i'll be adding the zinc here and there's a little kind of piece here and then um, that's what i'm going to do next so there are your choices the trumpeter KA and then Shapeways. I know China 3D also do a really nice one. Um, I didn't buy that one. I went, I went with this one because I was ordering some other parts. Okay, so we'll get on to the next step. So these are the parts I'm going to be using on the rudder. Um, I ordered these on minibrass.com. Again, I'll put a link down below. And as you can see, these are the little zinc plating that just go along here. And then this little piece just folds over and it will just attach up here. And these other parts are for the stern. So I have that little piece added there. Um, I'm now going to add the little um, zinc ones here. So there's one going to go here, here and here. So I have this little pin with a little bit of blue tack on it. What I'll do is just flip that over. A bit of glue to the part. Okay, that's one. There we go. And now I'll just use the cocktail stick just to get it in the position I want. Get my cocktail stick and just maneuver it into place. A 
Anyway, that's one side done. I'll get on and do the other side now. Here is the rudder, all done. Um, I've sprayed it with the red, it's the Tamiya Fine Surface Primer, Oxide Red. So it's going to be the anti-fouling paint. I'm then just going to mask off the top, or mask it off here, and spray the top black. And um, you can see all those little details come out really nicely. Um, I also cut the top to size, drilled a little hole and just added a little rod, a little bit of plastic uh, rod. That will focus. There we go. So that's red. That will be ready then to install on the ship. So I'm going to mask it off now and spray the top black. And then I'll also paint these the zinc plating here. Here is my rudder all done and as you can see I've just painted in the little kind of zinc plating there and sprayed up above here the flat black and with the proper anti-fouling line and I'm fairly pleased how this turned out. All sorted with the little added bits here so that's ready to go. Hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, take care.